Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem, and the problem's name is reformat date. So in this question, you're given a string variable date, which is of this format. So our task is to convert the input date into the format year 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 hyphen month month hyphen day day. So let's take the first example. 20th October 2052. So 2052 is the year, right? So that should appear first. Append it with a hyphen. October is the 10th month. Add 10 to it and then append it with a hyphen. And then 20th is the date. So you append 20. So this will be our resultant answer. And in this case, as you might note, the day is only of one digit, but we need to append it with a zero if it is a single digit number and the rest of the string is the same. So our approach is going to be that we're going to first extract each part of the string. That is we'll divide the string into three parts and then convert them and add it into the result. So let's start by extracting the year from the input string. So let's name it string year and we'll use the substring method on the input string date. So date.substring here as you can see we need the last four digits from the substring so so we'll start from date dot length minus four till the end of the substring so we go by date dot length minus four the starting position is uh, date dot length minus four so that is here and it will give us the rest of the substring now that we have the year let's add it into the result we'll create a result variable called result string result is equal to here and then we're going to add it with a hyphen right so as of now we have formed this as the output because there is no change or any conversion needed for year you might note that months are always having three letters so uh, we'll add all these months with its respective integer value into a map so i'm going to use a map with both strings So inside the map Jan is the key and 01 is its respective value. Let's do the same for the rest of the months. Two hours later. Again to extract the month I'm going to use the substring method. So the starting position for extracting the month here is this index. So that will be the entire date's length minus 8. And then the finishing index will be entire date's length minus 5. So let's store it inside a string variable called month date dot substring of the start position is date dot length minus 8. And the end position is date dot length minus five. Now to compare this month that we have extracted with the keys present inside the map. And first I'm going to add the keys inside a list. So this list contains strings, right? Because the keys are having strings. So the list is also going to have a string. So I'm going to name it list with a lowercase l. It's going to be a array list, which will contain string. And now directly I'm going to make a set of keys map dot key set. So this key set method will make a set of keys for the keys present inside the map and I'm going to store it inside a list. Now that we have all the months present inside the list, now I'll iterate through the list and I'm going to compare this extracted month with the strings present inside the list. And whenever there is a match, I'm going to extract its respective value. For that, I'm going to use a for each loop and uh, creating a string variable str, which will iterate through the list. Now inside this list, I'm going to check if now str dot equals month. So wherever that month extracted month matches with the values present in the list, we have to extract its respective value. So I'm going to add that value into the result. Result plus is equal to result already has year and hyphen. Now I'm going to add this uh, value. So map dot get of 
str then i'm going to append it with a hyphen again so now we have the answer till the month with the hyphen now our task is to extract only the day without the extension so for that i'm going to uh, convert this input string into a words array so that we can break the input string into three elements so string words to split the string i'm going to use a split method on the date string and i'm going to split wherever there is a space so if you take this example wherever there is a space it's going to split it into three parts now those three parts are present inside this words array and the first part is the needed extracted string right so that is the day so string day is equal to words of zero so now we have this value present inside the string variable day now our task is to extract only the integer part of it so let's name it day underscore th uh, indicating with the extension now to store only the integer part again i'm going to create a variable called string i'm going to create a string variable called day inside this day i'm going to store only the integer part for that let's iterate through this string with the extension so for int i is equal to zero i is less than day underscore th dot length i plus plus now using the character method and the is digit method i'm going to check if the character is a digit or not if it is a digit i'm going to append it into the string variable day so if character dot is digit of day underscore th dot char at of i so if it is a digit let's add it into the day string so day plus equal to which is initially empty so plus equal to will give us an empty string for the first iteration for the next iteration it will add it to the previous digit that is why plus equal to is important here so if that character is a digit we are going to add that character day underscore th dot char hat of i but there's a problem here this returns a character we can't store a character inside a string directly so we need to convert this character into a string for that again i'm going to use the character class and the two string method so we're converting that character into a string and this is that character so this will happen for all the characters present in the day underscore th string and only the digits will be added into the string variable day now our task is to find out if this day's length is one or two we need to output a two digit value to the day because dd here so for in in case if you take this example if you take this example six here is outputted as zero six so that is what we are doing if the length of this string is one we need to add zero to it before outputting it so i'm going to check if day dot length is equal to one now before adding that day we need to add zero to it and add it to the result so result plus equal to now result has the value till here right now for that we are going to add the day so before adding the day if it is a one digit number we need to add zero to it and then add the day and in the else if part which means that the day's length is two the day's length is two that means if you take this example if the day string contains two characters we can directly add that day into the result so result plus equal to day so we finally have our complete answer which we can directly output it so return result now let's run the code there you have it we're getting the expected output let's submit the code there you go our solution has been accepted that's it guys that's the end of the program thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next I need a little more.